and the volume of speed. I am speed. It's a few days to the highly anticipated bout, and you wouldn't expect any less from two boxers who have put in radical efforts to ensure no moment of their buildup lacked drama. And the latest drama has seen Devin Haney become the protagonist as he has launched a missile of savagery and trolls at Ryan Garcia after seeing footage of his punch speed. Let's check it out. The year 2024 has proven to be a spectacular one that will go down in the history of boxing as one of the very best across all divisions. Having featured mind-blowing bouts like Anthony Joshua vs. Francis, Tim Tizu vs. Sebastian Fondora, and Raleigh Romero vs. Isaac Cruz, the year is still filled with more exquisite bouts, like Gervonta Davis vs. Frank Martin, Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Usyk, Canelo Alvarez vs. Jamie Munguia, and the most recent of them, the highly anticipated Devin Haney vs. Ryan Garcia fight, taking place on April 20th. What makes the April 20th bout special isn't just the world championship on the line, but the history between the two fighters. Like intelligent record keepers, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia were quick to reveal their history to the world once the match was set. Both boxers have come a long way since their amateur days, and while it's always a great sight to behold when two familiar amateurs grace the ring together, this may not be the best of them, as there's no lost love between both fighters. More interestingly, and like a movie perfectly plotted and scripted by a world-renowned scriptwriter, their amateur record was a perfect build-up to the bout that'll be holding a few days away. In Las Vegas, um, I think a lot of people were surprised it got as heated as it did because it felt like for a long time, even though you guys were adversaries, that you were friends. Was that fair to say? I'm no, I mean, you know, we, we were rivals since, since young kids. Um, you could as well call it the longest buildup in the history of boxing, seeing their heated rivalry begin long before 2015, when 17-year-old Devin Haney made his boxing debut. And even back then, Devin Haney had epitomized every bit of the skill and intelligence he exhibits today, earning praises from boxing legend and promoter Floyd Mayweather Jr. After getting the better of him in a sparring session between the both of them shortly before Floyd Mayweather's 50th and final match against Conor McGregor. You don't see Floyd Mayweather endorsing a boxer every day, especially one not signed to his promotional team like Kermel Moten and Gervonta Tank Davis are. And what Devin Haney has done so far in his career is to prove himself worthy of every hype he gets, boasting a record of 31 wins in 31 fights, including 15 knockout victories. Back in their amateur days, they had six bouts in total, with both boxers sharing the spoils with three wins each. As a result, Ryan Garcia has gotten some credit as well, with Devin Haney giving him his credits as well, claiming Garcia remains the only one to have defeated him thrice during his amateur days. In a recent interview, Devin Haney gave his honest take on what he remembers of Garcia from their six amateur matchups, responding, he said, Ryan has always been a good fighter since we were kids, but I feel like over time I've grown past him, got a lot better, where Ryan kind of stayed the same, and that's for me to show on April 20th. He was also asked about a controversial comment by Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is really never void of offensive and controversial comments. Garcia had said he was praying he's praying Bill Haney throws in the towel in time to save him, and in response, Devin Haney said, Well listen Henry, his dad is going to be there too so we'll see who stops it. I think his dad will be the one throwing in the towel and stopping the fight. Talking about being in another marquee fight, Devin Haney said, That's what it's all about. After the last fight, I said I've done the legacy fights, I got the belts, I'm in the history books forever. 
but now it's about making the biggest fights happen for the most amount of money and make big events. And here we are, arguably the biggest fight in 2024. I think the biggest fight. It's going to be a mega event. On what a win over Garcia does for his career, Devin Haney was probed further. Asked about what a win over Ryan Garcia would do to his career, he replied, It's going to catapult me. It's going to prove I am the new face of boxing. I am the man, and I'm a huge draw. He definitely didn't leave without making his prediction, or perhaps revealing his intentions on what he would do to Ryan Garcia in a few nights to come. We've seen Ryan quit before, and I think this won't be anything different. Once you have that quit in you, it's installed in you, you know how to do it, and I think he'll quit on April 20th. But aside from his cool comments, Devin Haney had also been seen on several occasions sending trolls and acting as naughtily as one would typically expect of King Ryan Garcia. His most recent diss at Ryan Garcia came after he chanced on a training footage of Ryan Garcia where he was working on his punches with repeated punches thrown at the punching pads in the hands of a fellow. As you would expect, Ryan Garcia didn't do this in the gym, as the location seemed so much like a part of his home. Everybody know you really know. whack, nigga. You're whack. I'm up with something. You're whack. No, you're whack. Me, bro. You're that was whack. Okay. You that was see? whack. You you soft, bro. You, you, you soft. soft. I've never, never been soft. 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 I've never been soft. We've seen that. This has made fans rush his footage with comments that they would normally hurl at Ryan. Expectedly, any boxer doing his training would be found more in the gym than his home. A typical example is 57-year-old Iron Mike Tyson, who has made the gym his abode ever since his return to the ring was announced. But contrastively, Ryan Garcia has been exhibiting his boxing exploits in his home, making many question if there was ever a training session. A fan said, We hardly see you in the gym. You appear on our faces with videos of 30 seconds and you think we'll support you. While this fab seemed very particular about support, others had more scathing and hurtful trolls for Garcia. Another said, Man, you never sweat for your training sessions. What exactly are you doing? In similar fashion, another funny fan quipped, This guy should be a celebrity already. He never trains, he only chills in his sitting room and tries to deceive us with videos whenever he feels. I'm shocked this guy has fans. How would you take someone whose only time of wearing gloves is when he's about to shoot content seriously? You have a match coming, not a Hollywood show. If all these claims against Ryan Garcia are true, then one major event comes to mind. The fight between James Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson, where the baddest man on the planet and his team came totally unprepared and got the shock of their lives. Perhaps the striking difference would be that while Mike Tyson got the first defeat of his career that night, Ryan Garcia would be getting his second if the claims regarding his ill-preparedness are true. Above all these comments, Devin Haney, on seeing Ryan Garcia's footage, wasn't going to let such trolling opportunities skip off his hands. He didn't show any hesitation as he grabbed his keypads and made his way to the comment section where he said, I love your gym, bro. Just stop the punches. You wouldn't get one on me before I knock you out. While he also made an emphatic reference to Ryan Garcia's gym, but in reality home, he also made a bold claim that brought back memories of the press conference. A first round knockout? Well, it could just be that as only a first round knockout holds the possibility of an absolutely dominant match, where one of the fighters throws punches before the bout is called off. And should a first round knockout happen between the two, especially to Ryan Garcia, a tragedy awaits him after the match. But what deal was really struck at the press conference? The press conference had several highlights with Eddie Hearn, Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, Haney and Garcia all talking, along with their respective trainers, Bill Haney and Derek James. De La Hoya said Garcia was daring to be great and in a bid to win over the New York fans following a message on X that went viral with Garcia saying it was a West Coast fight. Garcia took to the mic and said, shout out NYC, what's good? Then, discussing why it was the right time to meet his old amateur foe Haney, Garcia said, it's just a good opportunity for me. When I first came into the game, I just wanted to make a bunch of money and then I did that. But now I want to go for the legacy. I want to go for the belts. I'm on my vengeance arc. I'm ready to get back in blood and everything. So I'm coming straight for his neck. I promise you that. I promise I'm coming straight for you. It's going to be ugly. Then he added, everyone thinks I'm hating NYC. I'm not. I love NYC. Before leaving the dais, Garcia said, anyways, I'm going to beat the hell out of him. I'm out. After both fighters took some questions, Bill Haney, also Devin's father and manager, then asked Garcia whether if he was knocked out in the first round, he would retire. 
and this exactly was where the deal was struck. If I get knocked out in the first round, I'll retire, responded Garcia, standing up and shaking on it. Who when has he go that? out, he gonna retire. Yeah, you, and this, this I'm will gonna be your retire? last fight. You're crazy. This will be your, hey, Ryan, if you get knocked out the first round, are you gonna retire? I'll give you my word. If I get knocked out, I'll retire. Yeah, yeah. So, Not, no, come so, on so, now. So, so, so. But before we look at this deal, let's finish up with the actions from the press conference. Earlier, Devin Haney, the champion, had pointed out that Garcia had instead wanted the bout in California or on May 4th in Las Vegas and said, this is a great opportunity for me and my family, a great fight for the fans. We know Ryan doesn't want the fight to be here in New York. Behind closed doors, he's tripping at everybody to make the fight go to Vegas on a later date. But the fight has to happen here at the Barclays, April 20th. Here in New York, it's gonna be a hell of an event. Getting more personal, Haney then referred to Garcia's lone professional loss to Gervonta Tank Davis last April. We've seen Ryan quit before, he added. We've seen him take a knee before and quit, and on April 20th, it won't be no different. At the end of the day, it's personal now. It's bigger than boxing. We've been rivals since we were 9, 10 years old, and now it's time to do the deal when it counts for everything on April 20th. Garcia's coach, James, is a man of few words, but said he was excited by the challenge that awaited them. His father brought him a long way, James said, giving Haney his props. I can't wait to show everything we've been working on and show just how good and how much improvement Ryan is making constantly. Let's get it, Ryan. As expected, Bill Haney was not quite so reserved, and he started by bringing the fight location into play. If you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere, he started. That's why we came, he then added a poem. It doesn't matter the state or the place because Devins is going to beat up Ryan's pretty little face. And there's going to be some men that are going to be happy and there's going to be some girls that's going to be crying. Cos by round five, down goes Ryan. There was plenty of activity on the main stage. Garcia and Hopkins embraced and shook hands with Garcia offering to put the past behind them and Hopkins saying there was no beef to squash between them. Then Bill Haney and Ryan's father, Henry Garcia, got into it. Hopkins, who 23 years earlier enjoyed the biggest night of his boxing life when defeating Felix Trinidad at Madison Square Garden said, this fight here in NYC, out of all places in the world, this is the Mecca city to fight. To me, this is the place you must come through to get the stamp of approval on your certificate of greatness. These two young fighters have got to understand that to be great, you've got to do great things. This is one of the fights that can go down in history. This fight has a superstar stamped on it. Ryan's career starts with this fight here as far as I'm concerned. If Ryan Garcia is anything like the kind of man they call a man of his words, then he might just be fighting his very last boxing match and closing the chapter of a career that spanned 26 bouts on April 20th should he lose in a first round knockout or technical knockout against Devin Haney. But away from the deal, there was another brief altercation between both boxers, where Haney questioned Garcia's trajings and fitness ahead of the bout, and really, there seems to be too many wrongs in Ryan Garcia ahead of their bout in a few days. In only last month, only weeks ahead of the Devin Haney fight, Ryan Garcia stood on the scales to shock the boxing world. He weighed in at 154, one pounds that is 14. One pounds above the required weight for the fight against the Dream in the super lightweight division. As a result, many thought Garcia was unserious. In addition, provided the questionable tweets he wrote, the boxing world worried about Garcia's mental health. However, in his latest video, Garcia showed off his fit physique. In doing so, he hoped fans would buy tickets for one of the biggest upcoming events in Brooklyn. Well, here is what Garcia said. After Devin Haney's media workout in Los Angeles, Ryan Garcia mocked the former's boxing skills. In his opinion, a well-trained 12-year-old could throw better punches than the dream. As a result, in his reply to Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney called the former fat. Wallahi, I knocked him out on 4 out of 20, he added. Now to show his fans he was in shape, Garcia uploaded a video displaying his physique. In addition, he encouraged fans to purchase tickets for the fight in Brooklyn. What's up guys? Ryan Garcia here. Just wanted to come and show you guys that I'm on weight. I'm ready to do this. It's going to be a big night. 4, 20 baby. 
Tickets are on sale. Brooklyn, let's go. At the Barclays Center, said Ryan Garcia. Meanwhile, boxing fan Ray Jackson had claimed that Garcia versus Haney tickets were not selling due to being too expensive. So, Garcia added, I know everybody's trying to spin the narrative like we're not selling tickets. That's a cap. Along these lines, Garcia explained how one could buy tickets online or purchase pay-per-views via the Dazen app before concluding, King Ree reiterated that he meant business. After the fight against Devin Haney was confirmed, Ryan Garcia made headlines by tweeting several questionable statements. What started as an initially minute issue soon became a worry that became a viral topic of discussion among supporters and professionals of boxing. Once the sparring footage of Gervonta Tank Davis and Devin Haney was leaked, Ryan Garcia received a pile of hate in a manner that he's probably never received in his career. Well, his final fight with Haney must break all sorts of records, and it did break a trolling record as well. At that period, Garcia was ceaselessly making comments online to gain endorsement of many who have turned their backs against him. It wasn't too long after that he began screaming about the Bohemian Grove. Many thought it was a joke until he kept reiterating shocking revelations on X spaces. While his discovery would have been given some good attention, his antics and playfulness hindered many from looking towards his direction. In fact, this event led the boxing world to question Garcia's mental health. Later, he went through a mandatory mental health evaluation ordered by the NYSAC. However, having come out of all of this, and with only eight days left, Garcia said, This fight is going to be one of the biggest and best fights you've ever seen. I promise you that. I didn't come here to play. I came here to take them down. This is a fight for me. You all see all that internet stuff. It's internet stuff. But at the end of the day, I know how to get down. I know how to fight, he added. In another interview, he came heavily built and padded with a huge armor of confidence and courage, showing himself capable and up to the task, as he heads into the bout later this month, claiming Haney wouldn't be so much of a hard work for him. Garcia had a slew of predictions and thoughts at his lunchtime media workout on Tuesday in Dallas, Texas, about what fans can expect. Surprisingly, Garcia believes that Haney isn't on his level. Despite Haney being a two-division world champion, an undisputed champion at lightweight, and defeating the respected Regis Progress in his last fight to win the WBC Junior Welterweight title. From an analytics or even sport perspective, it doesn't quite add up, but that doesn't change the fact that Garcia, the betting underdog, seems to view it as his truth. During a media interview, broadcast on Golden Boy Promotions' YouTube page, Garcia said, It is going to be light work for me. He is just not on my level, and he is never going to be on my level. He is a good fighter, but he is not my level. Part of Garcia's confidence seems to come from his belief that he has now entered the best years of his athletic career. Garcia admitted during the interview with Beto Duran that he feels he is in the early stages of his prime. He feels he is improving with age and hitting his athletic ceiling as a fighter. Garcia, who is very popular on social media with millions of followers, added, It is going to be a vibe. It is going to be a movie. I just want to tell everyone that is going to be in the arena to make sure you create cool chants. I want to feel the vibration in the room. I want you guys to scare Haney with you guys roar, and we just annihilate this dude. Garcia has never won a world title, but firmly believes this fight will be his moment in the sun. The challenger is talking like he is the champion. The perplexing confidence of Garcia in the buildup and his social media behavior, which has been untraditional at the very least, has had some questioning whether Garcia would even make it to the fight. Garcia addressed that in his closing remarks stating that he believed Haney hoped he wouldn't make it to the fight. Instead, Garcia made a bold boast stating that he is going to have an emphatic victory and then take over boxing. My intention is to lay a stamp on this, stated Garcia, who feels winning this fight will make him the best fighter in the world. I just gotta keep fighting and proving it and becoming a champion in multiple weight classes and take my spot as the king of boxing. Evidently, Ryan Garcia has been the most outspoken boxer, and not just the most outspoken, but he's also been the most controversial and ridiculous. All of these acts would only do him good if they're transferred into the ring. Well, this is what his fans expect from him, to go into the ring and hand Devin Haney the very first loss of his career and snatch his world championship title from him. But Devin Haney is no slouch either. 
friend was at the motherfucking press conference drunk as a skunk. But, uh, drunk? <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully, you know, he, he get it together before April 20th. And uh, I'm going to have him punch Here. drunk on, the, on that day. Ryan has not changed since the amateurs. He's been fighting the same way. He's been, like, of course he got bigger, stronger. Despite being the favorite and looking more serious than his opponent, Devin Haney has even stepped up the intensity of his training, hoping to one day surpass the undefeated record of boxing legend Floyd Mayweather Jr. Yeah, let's go, baby, get down there. Yeah, up. Let's go. Get up. That's your failure. One more. You got one more, Andy. You got one more, Andy. What do you think about both boxers? And who's your pick ahead of the biggest bout of the year so far? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly react by clicking the like button below. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.